<laughs> Moving to a touching story, an 85-year-old man came out in his obituary, revealing that he was gay his whole life and his 25-year relationship, he hid it from nearly everyone. So what's your reaction to this story? Um, it's both sad and wonderful at the same time. Um, my family was also, we lost a family member who was not able to live his truth. And I was really young when he died, even though I understood, and I was very lucky to have parents who explained things to me and they didn't have any phobias. So I knew exactly what his, what his whole life was about. Um, but then as I got older and I realized, you know, I get to talk about my dating life. I wrote a book about my dating life. We talk about it all the time. I went on a blind date, y'all saw it on television. <laughs> and I, every, sometimes I think about the fact that my cousin didn't get that freedom for his entire life. He never was able to talk about his crushes, the dates, his heartbreak. Ever, and it breaks my heart to think that he lived that life and, the, and couldn't share that with the people who loved him the most. I wouldn't care what he, who he loved, whatever, but he didn't feel comfortable. And so when I see this story, it just makes me think about him. And I know that we've come a long way. The fact that we're having a Pride special on national television. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Kyrie? You know, I wish that he was here for this moment because he didn't get to live this freedom that we have now, but I think we should never forget there's still a lot of people around the world who are still afraid to come out uh -huh. because of their religion or their family. Yeah. And let's think about those people as we celebrate here and we have that freedom in this country. So uh -huh. that's what it makes me think about. What do you think, Kyron? You know, when I first saw it, I was immediately... Um, I was, it was sweet. It was really sweet, but then it was, like, kind of heartbreaking, mm -hmm. I think, because it really highlighted some of the very harsh realities that LGBTQ2S plus people go through all the time. And it, it, it really reminded me of that. And so, although, uh, and first of all, I just wanna say how brave, even posthumously, like mm -hmm. super brave to do that and um, really made a big impact, clearly. I mean, we're talking about it now. Mm -hmm. I think that's also, it. to me, I hope that it's a catalyst for more conversations like this to happen, and that it really reminds uh, everybody that even though we're celebrating Pride now and we've come a long way, um, people like this gentleman, you know, he was born in the 30s. Mm -hmm. Like, it was a much different time, mm -hmm. and um, he didn't have all the luxuries that we have now. And so I guess I hope that it's just a, a message to everybody to check in on your older, you know, friends and family and relatives. Mm -hmm. let's, let's make sure we check in on them. Mm -hmm. yeah. True, yeah. Do you think... <laughs> he uh, did this for himself so that he could truly rest in peace mm -hmm. but I think he might have also done this to shake up everybody who was left behind I yeah. imagine the family like that was my thought yeah no I had mm -hmm. the same thought because I think it's really important I had a great aunt who died recently and um, my uncle had actually recorded her and I think everyone should do this you you're a big proponent of this of you know talk to your elders have them on record let them tell their stories because the more we know mm -hmm. the more we can actually learn and it's like even if it upset some of the people in the family if they were like really bothered by it Mm -hmm. There's a great chance there were other people who saw themselves in his story. Yeah. So I think it's liberating all around. I, I want I want all of the stories. Mm -hmm. Are my parents listening right now? I want all yeah. of the stories. Yeah. Yeah. Share. We need yeah. to share. It's yeah. true. <laughs> what a beautiful story. Beautiful. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.